Well, we haven't even had the Summer Olympics yet, but today marks one year from the 2022 Winter Games in Beijing. Team USA hard at work, hoping that the games will go as scheduled. Matt Renault shows us the unique challenges they're facing right now. At the U.S. Ski and Snowboard USANA Center of Excellence. Behind the scenes is testing two times a week, staying within our bubble, within our team. The gym's empty and sectioned off since the pandemic started. Definitely disrupted the whole world. But Olympic silver medalist Devin Logan is adapting. Jumping in the half pipe and working to ski her way to her third Olympic Games one year from today. Fire is lit to hopefully get a medal in half pipe. And she's not alone. Skiers and snowboarders are on the snow training at the Utah Olympic Park and in Colorado, where racers like Olympic champion Michaela Schifrin can feel the Olympics coming up fast right after the summer games. We're sort of all waiting with bated breath for the summer athletes to get their chance to compete. Um, and then we'll just be like rapid fire then. And that's got Team USA flying high. In European competitions, Schifrin's landed the podium four times in a pandemic season. Just getting back to it felt like such an insurmountable challenge that being here now is pretty, uh, it's pretty surreal. Justin Schoenefeldt's grabbed Team USA's first men's aerial World Cup in four years. Performing better and better each competition. While mogul skier Hannah Soar has her first podium in singles. It was really cool to get my first singles podium, especially because that's the Olympic sport. All working hard. With the Winter Olympics 12 months away, bringing the world together perhaps for the first time with most of the pandemic behind us. I think it could be one of the coolest Olympics to be a part of. Which is just one more reason Devin's in this empty Park City gym. Moving forward and vaccines are coming out. Working for the chance to celebrate brighter days at the Winter Games. That's what the Olympics are about. Well, I think something is to something. There's something to be said about looking forward to 2022 at this point, right. because yes, that will probably be the best Olympic game so far because the pandemic hopefully will be far behind us. That's right. You know, I, I uh, did a story with those skiers back several years ago who used that NASCAR wind tunnel that up in. Uh, oh, Mars yeah. To design their, their, you know, whole get up and their helmets and everything like that. It, it is mind boggling the amount of preparation and money and effort that goes into these things, these Olympic games and, and the heart of these athletes. Oh gosh, it's just it's they're incredible. Unlike, unlike anything I've ever seen. Yep. Larry.